Hey guys, I'm Akshay from bebomb.com and we've been following IFA pretty closely this year and there have been some amazing launches and unveils at the event. I'm here to round it all up for you but before we get to that, how about you hit the bell icon to get notified every time we post a new video. Now that you've done that, let's jump right in. IFA is basically the CES of Europe. It's a huge tech event and company show of all sorts of insane stuff. However, the best combination of exciting, insane and downright drool-worthy thing we saw at IFA this year was the Acer Predator Thronos gaming chair. Calling this thing a chair is probably wrong though, this thing is a gaming throne. It's right there in the name. It has a mechanical arm that can hold up to 327-inch monitors, a gaming chair that can recline 140 degrees and it can even hold a Predator gaming PC. It's insane and while there's no information on pricing and availability, this is definitely not your regular gaming accessory. Then there's the Nubia Alpha wearable phone. This band holds an entire smartphone inside it and it looks pretty cool. I mean, it has a curved display, a camera on the front and a mic, obviously. It's incredible and it looks like it was stolen off some sci-fi reality. It is a concept though, so don't expect to buy it anytime soon. Huawei also stepped up and launched an Alexa-powered smart speaker called the Huawei AI Cube. Except it's not a cube. It's kind of like the Google Home but thinner and taller. It's just called the AI Cube for some reason. I like to think that the name got lost in translation but hey, whatever. It's a pretty great looking device anyway and it can work as a mobile router as well. That's definitely cool. Bang & Olufsen showed off the Biosound Edge which looks like an oversized hockey puck and the coolest thing about this is, well, this is how you change the volume on it. Yeah, that is the coolest thing on a $3500 speaker. There were also a bunch of phones at IFA, most exciting of which was the Honor Magic 2. The phone was teased at the event and it will come with a truly bezel-less display that looks stunning and a manually sliding camera mechanism. Plus, the phone will come with the new Kirin 980, which is the world's first 7 nanometer chip and apparently better than the 845 in every possible way. It will also feature 40 watt fast charger. It all sounds pretty amazing, really. Sony also launched the Xperia XZ3 flagship with a very, very glossy back that is a next level fingerprint magnet. It comes with a 6 inch QHD plus OLED display, Snapdragon 845, 4 gigs of RAM, and 64 gigs of storage. It will also be the first device to ship with Android Pie out of the box when it goes on sale on October 5th for $900 in the US and the UK. There were also other phones at IFA including the Huawei Mate 20 Lite, the BlackBerry Key 2 LE, the HTC U12 Live and the LG G7 One and G7 Fit which honestly weren't all that exciting. Coming to laptops, Acer took the cake here too with the Predator Triton 900 with a screen that, well, just look at that hinge. You can swivel the screen forward to get up close with the gaming action on this thing and it definitely looks downright amazing. It comes with a 4K display, 8th gen Intel CPUs and an Nvidia 1080 GPU so it will definitely not hold back any punches. Lenovo also showed off its yoga book that comes with an e-ink keyboard complete with animations when you're typing on it. The e-ink display can also be used for jotting down notes, doodling and more and you can even view PDFs on it. It's a pretty great idea and it will be available in October for a starting price of $999. There were a lot of other laptops at EFI as well and if I start talking about them, this will become a really long video. You can check out our in-depth EFI coverage from the link in the description below. LG took to the floor to launch a massive 88-inch 8K OLED TV, which is just insanity to be honest and it looks absolutely stunning in every sense of the word. It's the world's first 8K OLED TV by the way and while there's no pricing available, history suggests that this will be priced upwards of $25,000. So you can choose between a car and a TV. Samsung wasn't about to hold back after LG and launched an 8K QLED TV at the event which just like most Samsung QLED TVs looks absolutely gorgeous. The Q900R comes in sizes from 65 inches to 85 inches and goes up to 4000 nits in brightness. It will be the world's first commercially available 8K TV and uses AI upscaling to convert video to 8K because there's no 8K content out there. So you know, you'll be watching Full HD and 4K content in 8K. That's awesome.
Those were all of the exciting things shown off at IFA 2018, but there were a bunch of other cool things as well. Acer launched a bunch of awesome 4K gaming monitors with refresh rates up to 144Hz, and that's pretty damn awesome. Harman Kardon showed off a bunch of Google Assistant powered smart speakers, including the Harman Kardon 1, the Citation 100, and the Citation 300. Sony also launched the $299 SRS XB501G smart speaker with Google Assistant and it has a 16 hour battery life the IP65 rating but all i can think about when i look at it is that it's scared and screaming a number of smart watches were launched including the Casio Protec smart watch which looks very much like a rugged smart watch and Fossil subbrand Kagen also announced the Falster 2 smart watch with a slimmer bezel and programmable button It is one of the best looking smartwatches out there in my opinion. Well those were all the cool gadgets that were unveiled and launched at IFA 2018. There was a lot more happening at the event and you can check out our in-depth coverage on our website and our app so you know check it out. Also give this video a like and share it with your friends. Lastly subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. That's me signing off. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.